right, my people, welcome back on this one. Okay, and as it is, a lot of things have been happening in the country, as we speak, so to say, right now. And then, as it is, according to what has been going on, and everybody, you know, was so shocked about what happened yesterday in Imo State, as in, in the Imo prison, whereby some unknown gunmen set the place ablaze and uh, which made about 2,000 inmates, 2,000 prisoners to escape. Oh my God. And then according to what has been gathered right now, onto what I have here, it says Buhari must make peace with Nam Dekano before things get out of hand. All right. And then the names in details. So, all right. According to what it says, Igbo social belief is that tomorrow will always be better when Igbos become suicidal to the point of attacking military formations. It means, uh, it means in simple terms, unso budi. That means there is trouble. All right, with the frequent attacks on security operators in the southeast, is not good for Nigeria or the southeast. Well, unfortunately, Igbo governors have lost the initiative. They have been seen as selfish stooges who stand for only their personal interest and not Igbo interest. All right, the Nigerian government has done all possible to radicalize an otherwise merely irritant group. All right, truth be told, at the time of proscription, IPOB was orderly and never a terrorist organization. Okay, Nigerian government has gone further to impose death and hardship on her people and uh, nobody is even talking about the number of unharmed Igbos killed under the pretense of being IPOB members or even talking about the number of presumed IPOB members in thousands dumped in our prisons or spurious charges. Okay, and then as it is, I saw the event at Oyibu we all saw the number of girls arrested and taken all the way to Abuja, and we heard their harrowing tales. Okay, and then as it is, the the way forward, all groups attacking military formations must stop immediately. Okay, and then according to what is here, it says Nigerian state must review all presumed cases of IPOB members in our prisons nigerian nigeria must sit down and talk this country as it is is not working for anybody all right and uh, this time for diplomacy and not strong and tactics dr dom nick is a medical practitioner he writes from port Harcourt river state all right, and then this had been taken right now. All right, well, according to what has been gathered here, it has been said that Buhari must make peace with Mazanam Dekano before things get out. All right, there's been a lot of reactions, though, on to this one, and a lot of people have been like, all right, the thing is, this is our country, Nigeria. And then, according to what has been gathered, it has been said that if the leaders of, you no. Know, the country, if the regime, the presidency, according to what they are always telling us, if the presidency had done well, if they have done the needful, in fact, nobody will be agitating for separation. That is it. That's the first thing. No one will be agitating for separation that I want to leave the country, I want to be on my own, and the rest of them. But as it is right now, a lot of people have made up their minds that, hmm, Things had gotten out of hand. Because of that, we had to you know, help ourselves. And that's why you see the emergence of people like Maze Nam Dekano and uh, Sunday Igbo agitating for separation from the country. Okay, now, and uh, a lot of people are now like Buhari needs to you no know, apologize to Maze Nam Dekano. Then, in what way do you think that can be possible? That has been the question right now. Are you sure it can be possible for the president to apologize to Mazi Nam the Kano? And then somebody is now asking that, okay, fine. What and what do you want the president to tell Nam the Kano that will make 
Namdi cannot believe that this person, this president, actually means it. That this president is actually ready for you no know, apology. All right, and then as it is, and somebody has asked a question that even if the president or any of them ask Namdi Kano to come back to Nigeria, that they are forgiving him, forgiving him, Mazen Namdi Kano will not even try it to come around. All right, and then that has been hit. Well, there's been a lot of you no know, reactions, and then somebody is saying that okay, fine. As we stand right now, this is Nigeria, and then a lot of people, you no, know, even outside the country, because a lot of things had happened, and then they have been like, hmm, that Nigeria, that country, anybody they see outside, outside the country. That if you get to meet any Nigerian man abroad right now, as we speak, the a lot of people are always scared to associate themselves with them because they see Nigerians as evil. They see Nigerians as as people that are not trustworthy. But why has it been like that? That has been the issue. Simply because nothing was working for a very long time. Hmm. My brother, this is not an easy thing. This is not a funny thing at all. Even in Ghana, as we speak right now, when you get to Ghana, in fact, the way they treat Nigerians, you will be surprised because a lot of them are scared. When they see a, a Nigerian man, they say, ah, no, 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 don't go close to those. Uh, that guy. He's a Nigerian. Why? Simply because nothing was working in the country. And uh, this has now made a lot of people to come out. To go outside and you know, be doing all sorts of rigorous things. To, to be duping themselves, so to say right now. Because hmm, of recent something happened in Ghana. Whereby they were like, oh, that, those guys that always you know, snatch bags. Those guys that are always you know, duping people of their belongings. Ah, they are Nigerians now. It happened in Ghana. And then a lot of things have been heard about in fact, a lot of wrong things have been heard about nigerians in fact wherever they find themselves or wherever people find them so why has all this thing been like this because now nobody is happy as far as the country is concerned eh, nobody is happy with the regime in fact it's like the whole thing is even getting worse by the day and that has been the issue it's getting worse by the day and uh, as it is a lot of people have now made up their minds most especially the old doer okay the hoji do agitators they have made up their minds that come 2023 there is no voting there is no pre nothing like voting for any presidency we want to go our separate ways that is the level to which it had gotten to right now, my people, and uh, likewise, the Bihafrans are not no relenting on their effort of pushing it, of pushing it to the level of Bihafran ad ad actualization. So, what are we talking about? And uh, that has been it. Well, some people are now saying that Buhari needs to apologize to Mazi Namdekano. Right, that has been it onto this one. Meanwhile, my people, let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.